just getting into Q2 for us is an achievement. Q3 is exceptional. We're down to the last 40 seconds. George Russell now sets the fastest first sector. We had nothing to lose. When you're in the zone, you don't think about the end result. You're constantly thinking about the here and now. It's provisional pole for the Williams. What a lap from George Russell. Crikey, this is too good to be true. George Russell can celebrate a magnificent achievement. Obviously, it was a difficult Saturday because it was wet in the morning and it was dry on Friday. And because we've only got so many sets of tyres, we don't like to consume too many sets in, in practice and save them all for qualifying and the race because we probably need it. So we only did about six laps or so in FP3. And I felt good and I felt confident ahead of quali. George Russell is through into Q3 for the second time this season. He's done it uh, and is eighth fastest overall. So here we are starting the quali lap, hand on the steering wheel, put in the right engine mode in. And I actually came on the radio, you see the red light. I asked my engineer what the lap times were because it rained a lot um, from quali, quali two. Then we had a big break before quali three and I didn't know where the track was at. And I had this one shot, really nailed turn one, got in there early. And then approaching Air Rouge, I just thought I had to go for it. Um, one little downshift straight back on the throttle and sort of the car goes light across the crest and I think as soon as I got through those first two corners I had so much confidence because I, I did that to sort of the best of my ability and then breaking really late into turn five and just getting in there early just trying to uh, kiss the, the apexes of these three corners and carry as much speed and you know, the car is just constantly sort of moving um, down the hill turn eight it was really nice this weekend there's a big headwind into that corner uh, not too much understeer, and then into turn nine. You can sort of see now the track's a bit wetter than it was at the start of the lap, so you see all this spray coming off into turn 10. And again, just one downshift, the car's moving on me um, as we come through 11. And again, it's just a bit, a bit wetter through this section, so it's you know, really difficult to, to know how much grip you're gonna have uh, compared to Q2, which was by this point, probably 40 minutes prior to this lap. Uh, down into turn 14, I went a bit wide here to avoid the rubber and just try and keep it nailed through 15. So by this point, I knew I was on a good lap um, and you've got so much time to think about this last corner because it's flat down the straight, flat through this left-hander now. And it's just pick your braking point, try and miss this curb on the right-hand side, but try and be as close as possible um, as I was uh, so just kiss the apexes and at this point flat out cross the line and then i saw on the right hand side on that tv screen that i just went quickest <laughs> it's provisional pole for the williams and george russell now lewis hamilton will be next to cross the line uh, to try and catch him hamilton's had 101 poles he can't deny george russell here in spa this afternoon russell is still on provisional pole so it's like Crikey, this is, uh, this is too good to be true. Verstappen's going fast enough to just sneak ahead of Russell. And now it's the charge to the line for Max Verstappen. It's going to come up quickly. Is it going to come up quickly enough for pole? Yes, it is. Verstappen denies George Russell. My engineer came on the radio. It's a stonking lap. Now you've out qualified Mr. Hamilton. George Russell. P2. Come on! Yeah! Yes! Woo! Yes, guys! Oh my god! That was a lot. But yeah, I didn't really know how to react, to be honest. It was, yeah, very surreal. It took everything Verstappen and Red Bull had got to beat him. Come on, yes! I, I stole your turn one. I was told that. Yeah, turn one. Yeah, yeah. I I've got, I got, I got, I got Lando to thank for everything. Yeah, I sort of lost for words really, and I think only afterwards, looking back, recognising what an amazing achievement that was, and you know, we've worked so hard over these past few years to actually have, for sure, something that we will always look back on and say, 
we have been through two and a half years of real difficulty that we have come back with a front row and a podium finish in times that looked like that would never ever be the case in our wildest dreams you know we would have been happy with a haul of points this year you know and here we are with a podium it's, it's pretty surreal um, amazing guys amazing well done everybody well done just fantastic George well awesome the whole team did a fantastic job and you were outstanding thanks so much you so much deserved that congratulations everyone ah oh, that's a stonking lap <laughs>